Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to turn this dull paint into paint that almost looks brand new. Let's get started. In a previous video, I showed you how to remove aftermarket paint to get back down to original paint. And this is what it looks like on my car. As you can see, it's pretty dull. Here and here, there's also some scratches from trying to wet sand using too low of a grit. This is what it looks like up front. Not too many scratches, but still pretty dull. I used these two things to make the paint shiny again. I mainly used the rubbing compound and it took down most of the heavy oxidation, but I used the acetone if the rubbing compound wasn't taking all of it away. I used the rubbing compound exactly like the direction said to. I would put it on the paint, let it dry for a little bit, and then buff it out. I did this a few times and eventually I got the paint to this really high shine. You can see it almost looks brand new. If I come over here you can see the trees in it and the black paint is pretty much like a mirror. Now I'm going to show you my technique using this spot right here. So I'm going to take a cloth and I'm going to put it in the rubbing compound. I'm going to get a bit on here and I'm just going to put it on here right in the spot that I'm trying to clean up and make shiny again. And if this doesn't work I'm going to do it one more time and then I'm going to use some acetone to clean it up even more and get rid of the oxidation. So I'm going to let that dry for a bit and come back when it's dry. The compound is pretty dry now, so I'm going to try buffing it out. You can see that the oxidation is pretty much gone and the paint's shiny there now. This worked really well on this oxidized paint up front and I'm hoping it will work well on the roof and all the other body panels that I do this to. Here you can see the side by side between the buffed paint and the paint without anything done to it. You can see the buffed paint is much shinier and you can see my hand in it, but if you go over here it's very dull and you can't see anything. Overall I think this is a great technique for making this original paint shine again. My suggestion is that if you have a car that had a poor repaint done, you try a few areas and see how bad the original paint is underneath. If it was sanded heavily, I don't suggest you do this, but if there was light sanding or no sanding at all, I think you should try this in a few areas on the car and see how well it turns out. If my car turns out like this in a few more spots, I might not even repaint the whole thing and just do some blends and touch-ups in other places. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, I hope you enjoyed it. There will be links in the description to the rubbing compound and some acetone if you want to try this yourself at home on your car. Uh, once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.